name is Max James, and as always, I am one half of the Two Ton Nerds, and today is day 28 of the 31 Days of Fright Horror Movie Project presented by the Two Ton Nerds, and we have come to the end of week four. Um, I've already watched the movie for today. Um, it's a double feature featuring two movies into one. It's called Grindhouse. You, uh, um, this movie is broken into two separate um, segments. You got um, the Quentin Tarantino segment, uh, Death Proof, and you also got the Robert, Robert Rodriguez segment, Planet Terror, and they are both really great. So I'm going to get right into telling you what you need to know about these movies. And first up is the plot. The plot of Planet Terror is a bioweapon bio has been released into the air of this little town and they are turning the residents into these really 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 nasty zombies and they're really really great then the um then the of course there's a band of um, band of survivors who are just trying to escape and try to put um, they've actually come together to realize like hey let's go to Mexico and put her back to the ocean and so we can defend it off defend off the zombies and so and that's pretty much the plot of the movie, but you, it's just—it's more than just that. There's a little bit more plot details, which I want to save for your first viewing, or if you have seen this movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. Then the plot of the Quentin Tarantino segment, Death Proof, is a stalker named Stuntman Mike uh, who hunts and kills people using an unconventional weapon. Uh, he uses a, a vehicle instead of a, a blade or a chainsaw or... Uh, or hook he uses it's, it's really different so but so he the movie's actually kind of broken down into two segments as well you got the first set of girls who he stalks at this bar then you got this um to the second set of girls where um things don't quite go well for stuntman mike the second time around in the movie where he actually because the girls who he kind of stalks the second time around actually has some stunt experience so um, the games kind of get turned around on him, and which leads into probably the best part of the movie is um, the big chase scene between the girls and Stuntman Mike. It's really, really great. Um, two is the cast. The cast of the movie are really, really great. Um, for Planet Terror, you got Bruce Willis, um, who else? Uh, Michael Parks, Rose McGowan, Freddie Rodriguez, Michael Bean. It, uh, even Fergie's in this movie from the Black Eyed Peas. Uh, she's actually pretty decent in this movie. Uh, then you got uh, Josh Brolin. It, it's an all-star cast for uh, Planet Terror. And it's just really fun because it's tongue-in-cheek kind of humor horror. And it works really, really well. And it's really funny. And the cast are does their job really well. Then you got the cast for uh, Death Proof. Um, you got Stuntman Mike played by Kurt Russell, you got um, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, you got Rosario Dawson, you got Zoe Bell. Um, she's a stunt woman who, her stunts in this movie are awesome. Um, when they play this game called Ships Mast, it's where she just holds onto the hood of the car while they're going down curves of roads and just really, really awesome. Um, who else you got? Um, Jordan Ladd, um, then there's a couple cameos in this movie by Eli Roth, and as well as Quentin Tarantino. So the cast in both movies are really excellent, really like top-notch casting. So um, which leads into the um, special effects and makeup. Uh, the special effects for Planet Terror are more CGI and practical makeup effects. Um, they're really really great. And then they, there's explosions and. And the makeup on the zombies look really, really awesome. They they're really disgusting looking because they look like they're actually infected, and just like the looks like they bloated up to like really to massive portions before their body could just explode. And it's just really, really great. And they're kind of melting at the same time. It's just really, really great makeup effects for both for this movie. And then you got the special effects for. Uh, Death proof, but there's not really no special effects in this movie. You got some makeup effects for the death scene, which I'll kind of get to in a minute. But most of the uh, special effects are for the stunt work, um, mainly because of, there's a lot, a lot of driving in this movie, and it's it's really excellent driving. Some of the best I've seen. Um, if you've seen Vanishing Point or um, Crazy Larry, Dirty Mary, that kind of stuff, it's just like really, really good stunt work. Um, Three. Uh, next is up is the the deaths. The deaths in the movie are really great. You got um, for Planet Terror, you got your classic zombie deaths. You know, just kind of shooting them in the head or any, and just blowing them up and just running them over. It's just really, really great. 
but you also got some of the key death scenes for some of the cast members like Tom Savini. He ends up getting ripped in half and in several different pieces. It's just really great. And it's kind of a little homage to uh, Day of the Dead uh, because when he's screaming, his his um, high-pitched screaming starts to be you know, because he's getting ripped apart and his vocal cords are getting ripped as well. It's a nice little homage. I don't, I don't know if it's actually what that's supposed to be, but that's how I saw it. So... Then you got the um, the death scene. There's only one really key death scene in uh, Death Proof, and it's really awesome. Um, actually, there's two. You got the death of Rose McGowan. She gets her head head smashed in, uh, into the um, dashboard, and her um, that little cartilage just goes right into her brain and just kills her. It's just really, really great. Then you got the big death scene in this movie, where you got the four um, women who are high and kind of drunk and so they're driving and having a good time and then stuntman mike's like hey i'm gonna kill all four of them at the same same time and the death scenes in that movie really and that scene is really really good you got a leg being severed you got a lady being crushed by the steering wheel you got um this is why you should wear your seat belt uh <laughs> scene where jordan lad goes through the windshield then you got the one of the best the best part in the, the whole death scene is when the tire kind of rips one of the women's face completely off her off her head it's just really really great death scenes in both movies um then next is the ending the ending of this movie is really really great because um it ending for both movies are really great because you got death proofs um it ends with the women kind of succeeding in a way and then you got um the uh ending for Planet Terror, it ends exactly how they're going to say it. It's like, we're going to put her back to the ocean. So, it's just really, really great endings. It's very satisfying because there will never, I don't think there will be a sequel to this movie. Uh, if there is, it'll has to be in really, really high demand. So, that's about all I can say about the movie. So, I'm going to get right into my classification scale. Um, you got one being the worst and five being the best. One is your run-of-the-mill horror movie. Two is best watch with the group. Three is a good horror movie. And it just doesn't offer anything new to the horror genre. Uh, four being uh, helps help helps move the horror genre forward. And five being a horror classic. And I say overall, as a grindhouse movie, I think it is it's a horror classic. Uh, or it will be eventually because it's two films in one. And it has, the, has um, fake trailers mixed in with them. And I think um, two of them are actually going to be made one has actually been made called machete um it's starring danny trejo that's a really funny movie to watch then you got thanksgiving directed by uh, eli roth that movie is really fun that trailer is probably the best one on all of them so there's just fake trailers it's, overall it's, it's it seems like if you were going to go see a double feature that's exactly what this movie would be like so i'm going to put it as a horror classic overall as a movie but separate films you got um, Planet Terror. Planet Terror is a three. It's it's a good horror movie. It just doesn't offer anything new. But it is also just best watch with a group. It really is. So just sit down, put it in with your friends, and just watch. Um, but it is a strong number three. And Death Proof. Death Proof is a little hard because not a lot of people like Death Proof. Um, I knew I knew a few friends actually went seen this movie and left during after the first set of girls' um, death and. It it's not real. I can guarantee it's not for everybody, but it is just it's fun to have a nice little double feature with it. So I'm gonna have to put it as a. Uh, I really hate saying this because I'm a big fan of Quentin Tarantino, but it's a two. It's just best watch with the group. It really is. Um, it, I can watch it solo um, any time of the day of the week, but um, if you're going, if a bunch of people are gonna watch it, that's the way to watch it. Is just with a bunch of people. So that's really all I gotta say about this movie. So. My name is Max James, and as always, I'm one half of the two-ton nerds, and I'm going to go geek out.